going to be Little Miss Country and her string alongs. And uh, Wendy's filling in as one of her string alongs today. So Yay, thank you, Wendy. Yeah, you went to me. I'm going to change the rule. I, could be, I don't like being a string along. I'm sorry. It was just too bad. It's like it? I wanted to lower and a tag along. Tag it along, string it along. I wanted it today. No, you got strings. You're playing your strings. You're my string along. It's catchy. It's catchy. <laughs> sorry. Okay. No, I got that off ready. my chest. Okay. All right. The first song we want to do is uh, a new song for me. And it's second uh, This is uh, in B. Got me to man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, got me. Yeah. Kiji. Why don't I have it up there? Uh, Thank you. I got it backwards. See, that's why you have a string along keeping you in line, darling. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be up for a while, but when it is, I'm going to okay. grab that one. We're going to put that one down. All right, this is Angie. This is a new, uh, a new gospel song. I, um, my hus or my son bought me a um, satellite radio, you know, and uh, I got the bluegrass station, and so I listen. I'm listening to a lot of different songs, a lot of different good music, past music, and this is one of them. I got it off the bluegrass channel. The earth was young. God was alone. He had no one.
And this one's going to be in a key of G. <laughs> Why did we pick this one? I don't understand. You picked it. I, I didn't pick this. I don't have any clue. I thought you picked what you wanted to do. <laughs> so. I think it's going to be a good one. Battle in New Orleans. Everybody like that one? It's a different song. Not one that's heard Matt much. Well, we are certainly glad to be here in such cooler weather, I'll tell you that. Last time we came, last year, it was so smoldering hot, we, ugh, but this is perfect. Hey, and we got here on time this, this time. this in Michigan, right? We got here on time this time, too. And we we got got were early instead of late. Yeah, we were a little late last time. Well, we won't talk about that, Tim. <laughs> but anyway, it's a beautiful day out here. Yes, it is. All right. It's going to be in Key G. Well, in 1814, we took a little trip down with Colonel Jackson down to mighty Mississippi. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we fought the bloody bridges in the town of New Orleans. We fired up guns and the bridges kept a coming. It wasn't near as many as it was a while ago. Fired once more and they began a running down to Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Well, we looked down the river and we seen the British coming Well, there must have been a hundred of them beating on the drum Stepped so high and they made the bugles ring We stood beside our cotton fields, but didn't say a thing We fired our guns and the British kept a coming It wasn't near as many as there was a while ago Fired once more and they began a running Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico well, they ran to the bushes and they ran to the fires and they ran to the rambles where a rabbit couldn't go. Ran so fast that the hounds couldn't catch them down to Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. We could take them by surprise if we didn't fire them up till we looked them in the eye. Held up fire till we seen their faces well. Then we opened up our squirrels and then they gave them well. We, we fired our guns and the British kept them coming. It wasn't near as many as there was a while ago. Fired once more and they began a run. On down to Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Well, they ran to the bushes and they ran to the briars and they ran to the rambles where a rabbit couldn't go. Ran so fast that the hound couldn't catch him down in Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Then we fired our cannon till the barrel melted down. Then we grabbed an alligator and we fought another round. Filled with head with cannonballs and powder hit behind. When we sucked the powder up, the gator lost his mind. We fired our guns and our bridges kept a coming. It wasn't near as many as it was a while ago. Fired once more and they began to run. Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. I would 
give you my loneliness. Give me your two power. song go? <laughs> well, I got the words right in front of me and the chords, so it can't go yeah. too bad. Unless One is a seasoned professional. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Get nervous. Sure. I'm I got the chords in front of me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love this song, though. It's a beautiful hymn. Um, <clears throat> I do it. I do it sometimes. Don Schoen used to do this song. There's a little story. I don't know if anybody... I know some of you know Don Schoen. Um, he passed away. He was an awesome, awesome man. God, he just, he was wonderful. But anyway, he did this song a little differently than I do it. And he was very quick after I did this song one night at a jam to come up to me, Wanda. That's not the way that song goes. You need to slow that down. It's just not right. I mean, he was adamant. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And then I thought about it. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm not changing a thing. <laughs> He did it a little differently. But, kind you know, of bluegrassy. It's we supposed to be bit, a little you know, fast. We do something a little differently. We make it our own. And that's the only thing I do. But this is for you, Don. After a while, he got used to it. He didn't care. <laughs> if it starts raining when you get done, we know he's listening. <laughs> right. I don't ask you, Lord, to lighten up my burden. I don't mind the trials on earth I go through.
Okay. I think you're gonna do one piece at a time. One piece, uh, that's next on the list, Juana. I like that one. This is in the with the Okay. Okay. I'm having a lot of fun, just so y'all know. What you are. One of my favorite tunes I like to do. I do it all the time, so I'm yeah, not like the I really like it. Tim does a really good job on this. This is an old one. Well, I came from Kentucky in 49. I went to Detroit working at assembly line. The first year they had me putting wheels on them Cadillac. And every day I'd watch them beauty throw by, and I'd just kind of hang my head and cry. You know, I always wanted me one that long in black. So then one day I devised a plan that'd be the envy of most any man while well, I'd sneak one out in a lunchbox in my hand. Now getting caught meant getting fired, but I figured I'd have it all by the time I retired. I'd have me a car with a lease to a hundred grand. And I'd get it one piece at a time, and it wouldn't cost me a dime. And you know it's me when I come to your town. I'm gonna drive around in style, I'm gonna drive everybody wild. They gotta have me the only one there is around. So the very next day when I punched in with my big lunch box and some help of my friends, well I left that day with a lunch box full of gear. I never considered myself a thief, I think a GM would miss just one little piece, especially if I strung it out over several years. So the next day I got me a fuel pump, and then the next day I got an engine in a trunk, then the next day I got a transmission and all the chrome. Now the small stuff I got in my big lunch box, like nuts and bolts and all four shocks, but the big stuff is knock out and wind this mobile home. Well, up till then my plan went all right until we tried to put her all together one night. Well, that's when we noticed that something was definitely wrong. Well, the transmission was a 53, and the engine turned out to be a 73. When we went to put in the bolts, all the holes were gone. What's that? So we drilled it out so it would fit with a little help from an adapter kit. We had that engine running like a song. And now the headlights, there was another side. We had two on the left and one on the right. So when we pulled out the switch, all three of them would come on. Then the back it looked kind of funny too, and when we got her together, and when we were through, well that's when we noticed that we only had one tail fin. Well about the time my wife walked out, and I could see in her eyes that she had her doubt, but she said, Honey, take me for a spin. So we crewed downtown just to get the tags, and we drove her down old main drag, and you could hear them people laughing for blocks around. But down at the courthouse, they didn't laugh because they tough it up and took the whole staff. And by the time they were doing, the title weighed 60 pounds. And I got her one piece at a time, and it didn't cost me a dime. And you know it's me when I come to your town. I'm going to drive around in style. I'm going to drive everybody a while. Because I have me the only one there is. Riders is a cotton mouth in a psychobilly Cadillac. Yeah, negatory on the cost of this machine, a Red Rider. You might say I went to the factory and picked it up. It's cheaper that way. What bottle is it? Well, it's a 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 automobile. Well, it's a 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70 automobile. And I got it one piece at a time, and it didn't cost me a dime. And you know it's me when I come to your town. I'm gonna drive around in style, I'm gonna drive everybody a while. Because I'll have me 
Little Miss Country and her string alongs. If you would join me in giving them another round of applause.